So in this problem, we need to obtain the value of the given trigonometric expression. Then let us begin. So here we have sine cosine 20 degree times cosine of 100 degree added to cosine 100 degree times cosine of 140 degree. And we are subtracting cosine 140 times cosine of 200 degree. So let's do one thing. Let's keep the first term as it is. So we have cosine of 20 degree times cosine of 100 degree. What we'll do, we'll take cosine of 140 degree as the common factor from the second and the third term. That means we now have positive cosine 140 degree. That's the common factor. So this will get multiplied to cosine of 100 degrees minus cosine of 200 degrees. So clearly what we observe here is that we get a difference of two cosine functions. So we will be able to apply the transformation formula cosine alpha minus cosine beta. So let's apply that. So we're going to get cosine of 20 degree multiplied to cosine of 100 degrees uh, plus cosine of 140 degrees. So here first we'll need to use negative 2. So we'll have negative 2 times sine of angle. So we'll suppose alpha to be 100 and beta to be 200 such that we get alpha plus beta. So that's 100 plus 200 will be 300. So we'll get 300 degrees divided by 2 multiplied to sine of angle so we need alpha minus beta over 2 so that will be 100 minus 200 so that's negative 100 divided by 2 fine so that will be now cosine of 120 degrees times cosine of 100 degrees then we have positive cosine of 140 degrees multiplied to negative 2 times sine of so 300 over 2 that's going to be 150 degrees now we have sine of negative 50 degrees, whereas sine is an odd function. So we're going to get negative sine 50 degrees. So here we have used the fact that sine of negative theta equals to negative sine theta because sine is an odd function. So this will become equals to cosine of 20 degrees times cosine of 100 degrees. Uh, this negative and negative will become positive, so we're still going to get positive. So we have positive cosine of 140 degrees times uh, 2 times cosine 140 times sine 150 degrees times sine 50 degrees. Now, sine 150 degree, we can easily obtain its value. So sine 150 degree, this can be also expressed as sine 180 degrees minus 30 degrees. So 180 minus 30 corresponds to 150 degrees. But if we write it in this fashion, then sine 180 minus 30 will transform to sine 30 degree, positive sine 30 degree. And the sine 30 degree is simply going to be one half. Now let's substitute all these values. So we're going to get cosine of 20 degrees times cosine of 100 degrees plus 2 times cosine of 140 degrees times cosine 50 degrees, so that's half, multiplied to sine 50 degrees. So here 2 and 2 will get factored out and we are now left with cosine of 20 degrees times cosine of 100 degrees plus cosine of 140 degrees times sine of 50 degrees. Now in order to proceed, we'll have to use the transformation formula. Let me state them. So if we have 2 times the product of 2 cosine function let's say cosine of a times cosine of b so they transform as cosine of a plus b plus cosine of angle a minus b and the other transformation formula if we have two times cosine of angle a times sine of angle b then we will have sine of angle a plus b minus sine of angle a minus b that means we get the difference of two sine function so we will apply this transformation formula to the first term and to cosine a sine b to the second term however we have a factor 2 missing here that's fine all we have to do is multiply each term with half and 2 so we have half times 2 therefore we will now get we'll take half as the common factor so we will have half multiplied to so let's apply the first one so here we will consider a to be 20 degree and b to be 100 degree so instead we get cosine of 20 plus 100 so that's 120 degree plus cosine of angle a minus b so 20 minus 100 that's going to be negative 80 degrees coming to the next one we have half multiplied to now we need sine of a minus b so a is 140 b is 50 so 140 uh, this is a plus b 
the 140 plus 50 is going to be 190 degrees minus sine of 140 minus 50 so that's going to be 90 degrees fine so let's substitute the value so half cosine of 120 that's a standard value so that's going to be negative half then we have plus cosine of 80 degrees because cosine is an even function so cosine of negative theta that's going to be equals to positive cosine theta plus half multiplied to now we have to find out the value of sine 190 degrees now sine 190 degrees can be also expressed as 270 degrees minus 80 degrees minus sine 90 so that's going to be one fine so we now get half multiplied to cosine 80 degrees minus half plus we have sine 270 degree minus 80 the reason why i use 270 degree minus 80 that's because so let's write down sine 190 degree i have expressed it as sine 270 so 270 is 3 times 90 degree so 3 times 90 minus 80 so this is going to give us 190 but since we have here is an odd multiple of 90 degrees so sine is going to change to cosine so we'll get cosine but the new angle is going to be 80 degrees now we'll also have to take care of the sine now 3 times 90 means we are in the third quadrant as dictated by this number 3 but we'll also have to make sure that it's indeed in the third quadrant because we are subtracting some angle measure here from it but 80 degree here is an acute angle so it's still going to lie in the third quadrant now in the third quadrant we know the mnemonic ASTC so in the third quadrant the, we have T here which means the tangent and the cotangent function are positive everything else is going to be negative so sine 190 degree is actually the same as negative cosine 80 degree so we'll replace sine 190 degree with negative cosine 80 degree minus we have one okay fine so let's find out the value so we get half cosine 80 degree minus half times half will be one fourth then we have negative half cosine 80 degree half times negative one is negative half so here the first term and the third term cancels out negative one fourth and negative half one they combine to give us negative three fourth so this is going to be the final value